guide us to walk through this wilderness of life. Give us wisdom and understanding to recognize all temptations that will lead us astray from you and give us the power to resist them. Give us your everlasting peace and courage as we move through this season of Lent and open our eyes to recognize that the way to eternal life is through you. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Mark. In our gospel for today, we learn that after Jesus' baptism, he was full of the Holy Spirit and was led into the wilderness, where for 40 days he ate nothing. Personally, I cannot imagine not eating for just one day. <laughs> it will be tough for me. I'm sure it will be for most of you too. The devil, as we learn, saw an opportunity to tempt Jesus. Let us look at it this way. The devil knows the Bible too. But the Lord Jesus Christ is always in control. The devil told Jesus, if you are the son of God, command this stone to become a loaf of bread. Now, the devil was calling Christ's relationship with the Father into question. However, Jesus shut him down quickly by telling him, one does not live by prayer alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Deuteronomy 8 3. Our Lord resisted the temptation to use his personal ship relationship with God for his own personal benefit. He did so by calling on the power of God's word. He cited the eighth chapter of the Deuteronomy. The devil now led Jesus and showed him in an instant all the kingdom of the world and relate to him that all will be given to him if we worship him. Jesus answered him again, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Like the previous test, the devil now thought it would mess with Jesus' mind. But how could you mess with someone's mind that has known you before you even existed? The devil took Jesus to Jerusalem and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from him. For as it is written, he will command the saviors concerning you to protect you. Jesus answered him again, it is said. Do not put the Lord your God to test. <clears throat> Today's reading made it pretty clear to all of us that our ability to repent and to resist temptation comes from our relationship with God and the grace of His deliverance rather than from our own strength or initiative. We all know that temptations are seductive and they lure us into sinful acts. However, brothers and sisters, we should not be afraid because we are not priest who knows us better than we know ourselves. I'm sure we all are aware of that tiny tempting voices that calls into question the validity of our identity as baptized children of God. This temptation tries to sow the seed of doubt, which shall make our belief and trust in the word of God. These temptations come to each of us who have received the gift of God's Holy Spirit, 
in our baptism. Sometimes we pray for something and we feel that as God has not answered our, our prayers quickly enough. Or we even have doubts that God has not forgiven us. But God knows about temptation that we all face. He knows it all. Through all these obstacles, we have to remain faithful, loyal, and follow God's words as Jesus did through his actions. Recently, I watched a segment on Oprah Winfrey's show, Super Soul Sunday. She interviewed uh, Miss Melinda Gates. Miss Gates chooses a single word each year instead of how most people choose something as a New Year resolution. Last year, she chose the word grace, and this year she selected the word shine. She explained further that she chose the word shine in that she believed every single person on this earth has a light in them. In that if we all put our lights on, on behalf of abused women, children, all people that have been oppressed, people that have no voice, if we all put our lights on, this world will be a better place and will be a shining world. Wow. My question is this. During this Lenten season, what are you taking on? Sometimes we all give up something during the Lenten season, uh, and some of us take something on. But I want to encourage all of us during this Lenten season to take something on. What actions are we going to take for our light to be shining towards others? What actions are we going to take to bring others to Christ? I encourage each of us to bear our crosses and strive to walk with Christ throughout this Lenten season and the rest of our lives by being the light that we shine through our actions. We all know because in God's wilderness lies the hope of the world. Let us pray. Thank you, Father, for this opportunity for all of us to gather in your presence. Teach us to walk in your wilderness and to bring others to you. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen.